Adiola. I am so happy today because Nigerian president, good luck, Ebele Jonathan, made the list of 100 most influential people in the world. Ebele Jonathan, you know, I've always known that Nigerian president can do it. Yes, I knew the guy has it in him, deep down. I don't care what people say about him, but you know, deep down, he's a good man and he can do it. See, now he made us proud. He made the list of uh, 100 most influential people. Give me that. Yes. You see? You see? Mr. President is right there in the middle of other people. So they, about him, they said, they said, good luck, Jonathan, scraps, fuel subsidy from Nigeria's 2012 budget. Wait, wait. Ah, so now that kind of influence. Ah, but Time Magazine. Yeah, these guys are funny. So is that kind of i thought it's the other kind of influence ah these people the president has put the thing on his facebook page you know he was talking about how happy he is to be on the list of 100 most influential people so i was reading the comments of nigerians and i like to share some of them with you see emeka amadi said whom are you influencing ah emeka haba mm -mm. don't say that don't talk about mr president like that whatever he has done you know, just, you see your president. Peter has on him, I said, what does Time Magazine know about life in Nigeria? I said, Peter, God bless you. God bless you, you know. I, I won't say more than that. That's it, Nampan said, give us job, security, education. Yes, you know, that would make us happy, right? And then he said, personally, I think it's Boko Haram that got you on that list, period. Hey! Hey, that it, that it, Nampa. Hey, hey, I don't, I don't pity you. Oh. I don't pity you. You are writing something like this to Mr. President. You are on your own. If they catch you, the one that really caught my attention is Magnus Anyai. And this person said, "Our dearest president, God bless you." I said, "Yes, this is a true Nigerian blessing, Mr. President." All of a sudden, the guy said, "The truth is that." At this time, you need to sincerely seek the face of God. <laughs> you need to sincerely seek the face of God for his divine direction. I said, <laughs> what are we talking about? What are you? <laughs> you want Jonathan to seek the face of God? Seriously? <laughs> and then the guy said, he listed like seven Bible verses for Jonathan to go and study. <laughs> He listed first king, second chronicles, proverbs. I said, ah, Magnus and yeah. hey, hey, I know you mean well, but to tell you the truth, Mr. President will not take his rival to be reading the verses that you have listed. I know you meant good, but don't waste your time, my brother. You know, Nigerians would love if Jonathan can get on the list of good presidents in Nigeria. Period. All these uh, influential people in the world, Nigerians could care less. All we want is good road, water, and electricity. That is all we want. <laughs> if you can do that, you will be on the list of the good presidents in Nigeria. But what do I know? I'm just keeping it real. Do you know that the president of South Africa is getting married again? <laughs> yep, yeah, wife number six. He's been married five times. Uh, he divorced one of them and one of them committed suicide so now he has three women three thick madams in his house yes but he wanted another bride so he's getting another bride by the way he has 20 children no no 21 if you count the son of this new bride yes the new bride bongi Ngema. yeah she already has a son for him now so yes if you count that one too he has 21 children already so i did a, a research you know trying to find out why these women are so fascinated by this old man i mean by this president sorry <laughs> so i did my research and i found out it's because he smells i mean sorry that didn't come out right <laughs> i meant to say because he smells good according to this yes according to this video <clears throat> hello ladies look at your man now back to me now back at your man now back at me sadly he isn't me but if he stopped using failure-scented political whitewashes and switched to old speed, he could smell as successful as me. What's this above my head? It's a shower head. Now it's gone. Look down. 
Look up. Where are you? You are in parliament with the man your man could smell like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's a free press. Look again. It's New Age reporting. Look again. The newspapers are now keys to houses for all my wives and kids. <laughs> Anything is possible when your man smells like old spin and not a failure. So I saw this video about a policeman in Vietnam trying to stop a boss by force. Take a look. Now, uh, many people are dedicated to their jobs, but uh, here's an example of just how far one policeman in Vietnam is willing to go to do his. Traffic police second lieutenant Nian Man Pan held onto the windscreen wipers of this bus for almost a kilometer in the quest for justice. Now, he had ordered the driver to stop and show his papers, which allegedly was something the driver wasn't willing to do. You can see the sort of hazards he was encountering on the way, let alone if he actually fell off uh, and uh, landed in front of the moving bus. The journey touched speeds of 50 kilometers an hour, but in the end, Nian got his man, who was eventually arrested on suspicion of acting against public officials. Hey, can you imagine, oh, eh? I said to myself, you cannot try this in Lagos. If you try this in Nigeria, it may look something like this. Have you heard Mrs. Ngozi Iweladi now win the World Bank presidential election? I was like, ah, this is sad. I couldn't sleep. I said, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, and that woman tried. That woman really tried. I, I don't know why some Nigerians are saying the only reason she didn't win is because Nemesis caught up with her. You know, because she was responsible for the removal of oil subsidy in Nigeria in January and people protested, almost 20 people were killed in the protest. Still, she did not change her mind. I said, eh, me, I don't know about that too. It's only what I know that I say. In any case, I actually believe that she was qualified for that position. In fact, she was more qualified than the guy that won. So if you really want to know why she didn't get that position, this will explain why. Who is this African woman that is trying to become the World Bank president? Her name is Ngozi. She used to be a managing director at the World Bank. Who gives a shit? The US has nominated that Korean American guy. I haven't checked out his resume though I am sure he's qualified. That guy that doesn't know the meaning of a hedge fund? That's irrelevant. He is an American citizen and the US nominee. As long as he is American, he is more than qualified. But what of the African lady who has worked at the World Bank for 25 years? She is not American. And that's all that matters. Who is the largest shareholder of the World Bank? The U.S. Where is the World Bank located? The U.S. Who has the largest number of votes in the World Bank? The U.S. Who is the most powerful country in the world? The U.S. And you want us to give the World Bank presidency to an African? Yeah, and pigs may fly. Bummer. I thought the selection process was all based on merit. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. So you know what? This troublesome website, Sahara Reporters or something like that. Yes, I know those guys. They are notorious. I, I visit their website secretly. Anyway, like last week before the election, they put on their Facebook page that what will Nigerians gain if Ngozi Nkojo Nweala becomes the president of the World Bank? I said, ah, this caught my attention. So I was, you know, reading some of the responses and this one's really caught my attention. Okay, so this person, Steve Ojo said nothing. And Ibrahim Abdulkadir said absolutely nothing. Real one Olowo Eko said nothing, absolutely nothing. Idris Kabiru, yes, this, this one caught my attention. World Bank loan would be easier for us and some other World Bank projects. <laughs> I said, hey, Idris Kabiru, are you dreaming? <laughs> World Bank loans will be easier for you because Ugozi becomes the president of World Bank. Which planet do you live on? <laughs> Seriously, no. She's not going to, to work at the World Bank so that you can get loans for your business. You need to wake up, bro. Now that she's a finance minister, have you been able to get any loans for your business? <laughs> You've not been able to get
get any loan now that she's in Nigeria. And you are hoping that when she works at the World Bank, you will be getting loans. Ah, you need to come back to planet Earth. I see. <clears throat> Please cast so carry. This is another person. And this person said to pave way for more loans for Nigeria. Ah, so you are many. <laughs> <laughs> you are many thinking like this. I, I'm sorry, but yes, Madam Mungozi is now going to the World Bank for you to get loans. In any case, Mrs. Ngozi has released her, you know, her statement congratulating the new president of the World Bank. So I think she has accepted fate as it is. Mm. So Zimbabwe celebrates 32 years of independence. Yeah, but really you can't you can't really call it independence if you've had the same president for the past 32 years, you know. <laughs> you know a lot of people are saying Mugabe is sick, he will soon die. Hey, the guy still looks strong to me. Remember that his mother died at the age of 100 and now he's 88. So the guy can still have like, you know, <laughs> many more years to live. Although some people cannot wait for him to die. They're already publishing the book that says what happens after Mugabe. Can you imagine? That is very sad. If you are alive and people are already publishing what will happen after you, <laughs> that is very sad. You know Mugabe wants to run again. Yes, you know, for the coming presidential election. A lot of people are worried though that his party, the ZANU PF, that, that they are broke. But Mugabe has reassured everybody that he has everything under control. Some insiders report that Robert Mugabe's grip on power might slip unless he can raise some cash soon. Mr. Mugabe, is it true that you are battling to raise the four million US dollars to stage your next party congress? No, team, there is no crisis here. Zimbabwe is still a rich and thriving country. Pay no attention to that. It is an optical illusion created by British homosexuals. Mr. Mugabe, 4 million US dollars in Zimbabwean dollars works out to, uh, well, uh, there is no word in English, but uh, here it is. What happens if you can't uh, find the money? I will print some more and then retire to Hong Kong. But, Tim... That won't happen because there is no crisis here in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is still a thriving country. <laughs> is, is that a, a, a hyena? Uh, yes, I was going to tell you guys that Prophet TV Joshua has seen another vision. And this time around he said, I see the death of a leader in Argentina. So yes, this time around is Argentina. And yes, a lot of people are disturbed. Me, I, I can't blame them. But you know, he added that this death, this particular one, can be avoided if they contact him on how to handle the matter. So let's wait and see. But you know, I feel like it's my job to keep you up to date on whoever is next. So I guess I keep it real by keeping you informed. Before I leave today, I want you guys to see a little bit of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, a land of peace for you and me, once born in pain and segregation, but now we live in harmony, now flies the flag, our nation's glory, we live Inside our hearts as we all stand to build our nation, this our land, our Zimbabwe.
and I'm keeping it real right up here. Until next week, I'm gonna see y'all later. Peace out. Welcome to Fosby Luxury Hotel. At Fosby Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24 hour power supply, poor air condition, free international calls, free tire pumping service, and free car battery charge. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fosby Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Nirobam Shile off Rajirasaki Road, First Estate, Amuo, or the First Tag For more information or reservation, please call us. 080-75-78-7135 or 080-99-90-0601 You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.forcevhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Forcevhotel, experience the home of comfort. They come, they come, they come.